Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is a German whisper pro uh, problem, which I um, submitted by, I think it's Wu Chen Lin, because of the way that the names are stated. If I've got that wrong, I really apologize. Um, so yeah, um, there's a link below to where you can try this um, problem. Um, first of all, thank you to um, Wu Chen Lin for sending these in and a bunch of other problems. Uh, you'll see those over the coming weeks, I hope. Um, so the way this one works, you'll know there's no X's. The goal on this one is to fully resolve boxes four, five, and six. Um, the green lines are German whisper lines, which means adjacent digits on the lines um, have to have a difference of at least five. Um, so yeah, there's a link below to where you can try this problem. Um, only resolve for boxes four, five, and six. Um, and yeah, uh, pause the video. I'll be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, this uses something that I really, really like. Um, so, of course, one of the first things you know about German whisper lines, if you've seen them before, is you can never put a five on a German whisper line because um, a five, five lower would be zero or lower, five higher would be 10 or higher. Neither of those is possible. So the three cells that do not appear on the German whisper lines, they must be fives. The next most constrained digits are fours and sixes. Um, and if you think about fours and sixes, and I'm going to focus on box five for now, um, any four or six only has a single digit that can go next to it. Four, the only digit that's five away is nine. Six, the only digit that is five away is one. So you could never put a four or a six anywhere where there would be two digits adjacent to it. So they have to go at the end. Now, wherever the, um, that means that the digits that are next to the four and the six have to be the one and the nine, because the four is going to have to go next to the nine and the six is going to have to go next to the one. So these become the one and the nine, but we know the order. So this is going to be the nine, this is the, um, going to be the one, therefore this is going to be the six and this is going to be the four. Now the digits that are left are two, three, seven, and eight. Now we know that this is not going to be, um, the digits are going to alternate high and low because any digit from one to four, and this is a trend on any German whisper line, um, anytime you can place a, a lower or a high, they will always alternate high, low. Any digit from one to four, if you alt make it any digit that is five difference from one to nine, it will automatically jump to six to nine and the same in verse, any uh, reverse. Any digit from six to nine, five different will always be one to four. You can figure that one out for yourself. So we know that this is going to have to be low. So it won't be seven or eight. This is going to have to be high. It won't be two or three. This is going to have to be low. It won't be seven or eight. This is going to have to be high. It won't be two or three. Now, if we look at this digit, two or three has to be um, has to be next to the digit. So if this was seven, there would be a three next to it, which isn't far enough away. So this becomes the eight, this becomes the seven. The seven has to go next to the two because the three isn't far enough away, and this becomes the three. Now that gives us the middle box, but we still have the same thing that we could do here. These have to be four and six. These have to be one and nine, and we know the order because this becomes the nine, Therefore, this becomes the four, this becomes the one, this becomes the six. We know from the same thing that this has to be um, the high digit. So these are going to be seven, eight. This will be seven, eight. These will be two and three. You can't put the seven in between because the three will touch it. You can also look at it this way. Um, if you were to put the, I think it's the three here, the seven will be too close. I think that's right. Uh, yeah, so what you end up with is this has to be the eight, this has to be the two, this has to be the seven, and this has to be the three. Um, and then you can do, I find it easier looking at the, the low digits. Again, we've got four, six, but we know that the six is here. So this becomes the four, this becomes the nine, this becomes the six, this becomes the one, this is going to be two or three, this is going to be two or three, this is going to be seven or eight, this is going to be seven or eight, three will be too close. So this is the two, this is the three, seven can't go there, this is the eight, this is the seven, and that is the solution to the problem. It's all about playing with those high low polarities and knowing that four and six is the most constrained digit and this one is enough to resolve all of those lines i really liked this problem i think this was a very very cool one and just reinforced those um those uh those deductions over and over and over i actually created a puzzle about 18 months ago that uh, played in on this logic um very very heavily but uh, this is a really nice demonstration of it um, if you want to check that puzzle out it's called jade palace but this this logic really really cool Thank you very much, um, Wu Chang Lin, for sending that one through. I, if I've got the name wrong, I'm really, really sorry, but I'm pretty certain 
you're from a country which does that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching um, and hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.